Cartesa 2 carries a state-of-the-art panchromatic camera that take black and white pictures of the Earth in the visible region of the electromagnetic spectrum. The swath covered by this high-resolution pan camera is 9.6 km and their spatial resolution is less than 1 meter. The satellite can be steered up to 45 degrees along as well as across the track. Cartesa 2C will operate on altitude of 630 km for 5 years. Cartesa 2 is an advanced remote sensing satellite capable of providing scene-specific spot imagery. The data from the satellite will be used for detailed mapping and other cartographic applications at cadastral level, urban and rural infrastructure development and management, as well as applications in land information system and geographical information system. Cartesa 2 can produce images of up to 100 cm in resolution, black and white only, compared to the 80 cm offered by Econos which is multispectral. In the past, India used to buy images from Econos at about $20 per square kilometer of imagery, where regional pricing was valid, otherwise the price is $7.70 per square kilometer. With Cartesa 2 offering better resolution at 20 times lower cost per square meter of imagery, buying images from Econos is likely to decline in future. Currently, India buys images worth about rupees 2 crores in a year from Econos. With Cartesa 2 CISRO is going to launch in this mission following satellites the first one is, Nano Satellite for Earth Monitoring and Observation, satellite developed in cooperation between ISRO and University of Toronto, Institute for Aerospace Studies for measuring with spectrometer level of aerosol content in the atmosphere. The second one is IMS-1B observation nanosatellite developed by ISRO, and third one is SRE-2, space capsule recovery experiment, capsule for conducting scientific experiments in outer space. ISRO is planning to utilize PSLV launch vehicle for this mission. Probably do low mass of Cartesa 2C, around 690 kg, standard version of polar satellite launch vehicle with six solid fuel boosters and four stages with combined liquid and solid fueling. On its 36th launch, the Polar Satellite Launch Vehicle will fly 20 satellites into space at a cost about 10 times less than other space agencies. Indian Space Research Organization will launch 13 American-made small satellites into space. This includes an Earth imaging satellite made by Terabella, a Google-owned company. The 110 kg Google satellite called SkySat Gen 2 is capable of taking submeter resolution images and high definition video. The 320 ton PSLV will carry 1727 kg Indian Earth Observation satellite called CartoSat, which can take images at submeter resolution. The launch also takes into orbit two Indian academic community built satellites, Sathya Pamasat and Swayam.